In the morning, Thomas puffed off with Percy to find his mail cars. Are you sure you can't remember where you left them, Percy? I can't! Think very hard, Percy. I am, but I can only think about Hero! Emily was busy doing Thomas's jobs on his branch line. Spencer watched her. Emily didn't take any notice of him. Why is Thomas puffing around the summer house? I don't know. Thomas is a busy engine. He chops all over the island. <laughs> this made Spencer cross. Why are you working on Thomas's branch line? Because, as I said, Thomas is a busy engine. Where is he busy? You're a big, strong engine, Spencer. Why don't you go and look? Spencer really didn't like this. He stared hard at Emily. Spencer stared so hard, he didn't see Percy and Thomas huff by on the upper track. Nor did he see Edward huff by with a flatbed of engine pots for Hero. That evening, Thomas and Percy puffed up to Hero's hideout. You cut me now. Hero's boiler was finished. He was a colorful patchwork of parts. Thomas and Percy were very happy. You look wonderful. Hooray! Oh, thank you. But I'm worried for you. The silver engine was sniffing around here last night. Stay away for a little while. Your friends are taking good care of me. Today, Edward was very wise, and tomorrow, I think James is coming. James isn't wise at all. He's a bossy boiler. <laughs> and for the first time, Thomas and Percy heard Hero laugh. Loud, long, and happy. The next morning, Thomas and Percy searched the quarry for the mail cars. They couldn't find the cars, but they found Spencer. Mavis was delighted to see Spencer. Spencer! What an honor! Let me take you around the quarry. <laughs> Thomas and Percy thought that was very funny. Spencer didn't. He scowled. And he didn't see James puffing by with a flatbed of parts for Hero. Davis proudly took Spencer under the slate hop. I'm just too quickly. Then, too slowly. Then he rolled back too far. Slate and dust flew down his funnel and bounced off his boiler. <laughs> Later, Thomas and Percy were taking on coal. Emily chuffed by. She had a flatbed of old parts for Hero. Emily was very excited. Good luck, Emily. <laughs> then Thomas saw Spencer. Percy gasped. <gasps> Cinders and ashes. Spencer was being pulled by Edward and shunted by Henry. Slate dust had blocked his funnel. Spencer had to go to the Sodor Steamworks. Now, Thomas and Percy could visit Hero safely. They were excited. Hero looked more and more like a really useful engine. Thomas, I must be really, really useful before Sir Topham Hutt sees me. You will be, Hero. Don't worry. I'll make sure of that. Oh. Listen, Spencer. Looking miserable doesn't get the job done any faster. Tomorrow you will be fixed. Come on, give me a smile, just to show me you can. Thomas and Percy puffed in. Ah, Kevin! Then, Victor saw that Spencer had closed his eyes because of the noise. Victor winked at Thomas. Uh, no problem, Kevin. Those hooks can be slippy. You're doing a good job, Kevin. Keep going. <laughs> and Thomas chuffed carefully away from Spencer and off to Hero with his new car. 
hero, what do you think about when you're alone? My home. Since I have been talking to you and your friends about it, I miss it more than ever. Thomas understood how hard it must be for Hero to be away from home. He wanted to cheer him up. Tomorrow, Percy is going to puff across the island to get the last part we need for you. Then you will be ready. You won't have to be alone anymore. Thank you, Thomas. You understand me well. That night, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for Thomas at Tidmouth Sheds. He was cross. Thomas, the mail cars are still missing. Spencer is at the Sodor Steamworks. The building materials for the summer house are stacked up at the docks, and you're not working on your branch line. What is going on? I'm sorry, sir. Tomorrow I will make sure everything is put right. Tomorrow, then, Thomas. Don't worry, Thomas. Tomorrow, Percy will get the last part Hero needs. We'll all take it in turns to guard Hero. Tomorrow, it will all be all right. Don't worry. <sighs> Thank you. Dawn broke across the island of Sodor. Spencer was back on the tracks. Today, I will find out what Tricky Thomas is up to. Spencer was looking for clues. He looked behind bushes. He steamed down sightings. And puffed closer and closer to Hero's hiding place. Suddenly, Spencer whistled long and hard. What's this I've found? James and Toby heard Spencer. They pumped their pistons. Rattle my rods. I found Percy's mail cards. These must be part of Tricky Thomas's tricks. Suddenly, James and Toby steamed out. Spencer had puffed too close to Hero. James blew his whistle. And Toby rang his bell. Together they chased the mighty Spencer down the track and away from Hero. The three engines raced and roared to a junction. Then Thomas chuffed toward Spencer. Spencer was blocked. He couldn't puff forwards and he couldn't puff backwards. And he had Percy's mail cars. Spencer, why did you take Percy's mail cars? You have caused confusion and delay. But I didn't take the... I'm not interested in your excuses, Spencer. Find Percy and give him back his mail cards. At once. I won't let Thomas get away with this. 